Hi everyone, this is one of the Take 5 series of tutorials that I hope to get you up and running using Blackboard as an enhancement. And you'll notice that you have a default menu dashboard homepage. This is the notifications dashboard. And so that is the only thing that comes into your shell. So we're going to be adding some content. Now, if you've had content from another class that you've used in the past, um, a Blackboard 9.1, that's another um, lesson that I might have to share with you at another time where you can actually copy content from one semester to the next. This is when you're starting from scratch. So we're going to do a little tour. Um, over here at the right hand corner you have an edit mode on and an edit mode off. In order for you to be able to create and edit content, you need to make sure your edit mode is on. When your edit mode is off, this provides a student view. So make sure if you want to edit and create, you're going to have it turned to on. The next item that I'd like to show you is this add menu item. I just put my mouse over this blue box with the plus sign and the drop down menu appears. So we're going to start with create content area and we're going to uh, write something like class resources. You can call it whatever you want. In essence you're making a blank content area similar to a folder. Make sure you select this checkbox available to users. Click on submit and notice it appears in your menu. Now it is empty. There is nothing in it. So in order to um, add content, documents, activities, you will have to click inside. So we're going to click inside that link. And now you notice that you have four different buttons. So if you want to add some files, maybe some URLs or text, video, um, you can see here it's it's hard to see with this white text, but if you move your mouse over this, you'll be able to see what these items are. This Create Assessment allows you to uh, build a test, a survey, or an assignment. And then we have this Add Interactive Tool, which allows you to bring some interactive tools into this content area. Now most of you will probably want to post your syllabus, so here's an easy way to do this. Build Contents, drop down menu appears, and you can click on File. That's probably the easiest way to bring it in. Uh, notice you have Find File. You're going to click on this Browse My Computer button and you're going to go out to where you have your document saved. Um, file management is important in this respect. Um, I have this is a syllabus document and I have prepared it in a RTF format. And you can rename this. If I've accidentally made a mistake I can select a different file permit users to view it and I can track it if I want and I can have some date restrictions on it. I recommend when you're first doing this just to keep this as simple as possible and once you're done and you have your document that appears in here you're going to click on submit. Now um, there's other ways to bring in content. Sometimes I recommend if you're bringing in a lot of files that you do it through the, the file manager. But for easy, simple syllabus that you're going to bring into the classroom, just go to the build content button and create file and then you'll be able to bring your syllabus in. We're going to go up here to the blue button with the plus sign and we're going to go to create tool link and I want you to notice all of the different choices that you have as far as tools. Some of them you might not know what they are and that's when you can come in for some additional training. Probably the ones that you're going to want to use are things like the email. And I want to make a distinction between this email and messages. If you chose email, and I'll do that right now, this is external email. That means it's going to go to the student's YCCD student account. I'm going to go back and I'm going to add another email communication, but the one that is internal to Blackboard, and it's called the Messages or Message Center. I mean, you can name these whatever you like. Make sure you have this 
clicked on so it's available. This is internal to Blackboard and this will go to the YCCD email account for students. So I hope that helps. Uh, there's a lot more you can do with Blackboard. It's just an, an amazing learning management system. So uh, don't be afraid to let me know what you need and how I can help.